And a little bit carrot carrot at the end of the string. You see? Don't, your partner's not even there. You're like kind of, the feeling in your body is sort of like through him. I'm not, my, this is like, so I'm using my body. I want you to imagine a big rubber band, stretch, snap back. That feeling like that. Instead of striking there, now we're just going to come down like that. So super relaxed. I'm going to do it one time, and then we're not gonna, I'm not going to do it again. It's really annoying for me. Okay, so it's going to once, one relaxed strike down, like that. Okay. one you'd like. <laughs> but, 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 yeah. you can, but, but, you don't to, but I only did it because that didn't look, it wasn't a lot of effort, but by virtue of its heaviness, it went in. And my body's natural. Just relax. But you, it was, you felt that, right? Yes. <laughs> You know, so block just very naturally like that. If somebody throws something at you, what's your natural reaction? Usually, whoa, cover. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do it with the heaviness on it. Then I'm going to strike with the heaviness. Then I'm going to kick with the heaviness. So here, here, okay. And then, like all of our kata have these sort of movements, right? These sort of movements, right? And so what, are, what are those movements? Well, all this stuff you had in your hand, you'd really like to be able to get it like in your foot. So your foot has as much coordination and dexterity as your hand does. And so the kata, the kata teaches those sorts of things, you know? And you're doing hangetsu and you press, press. That's a, that's a movement there. A type of, for like onsu, or all these intricate movements we do with our feet, I'm gonna, it comes from bagua. Yeah. Oh, stepping like that. So I'm going to wrap my foot really tight, cinch it up, and I'm going to push my shin against the shin. Okay? So we don't think about it. In karate, the only takedown we think about is, you know, ashibarai or, or osotogari kind of thing. But there's a lot of takedown that can be like super... So what you want to do is stand around your house and do that. You know? Really tight. Really tight. And then you get it cinched up. And then you're going to, once I get it cinched up, I'm going to roll that. A lot of straight line, I'm going to roll it. <laughs> I don't like it either. He's really not going to like it. <laughs> it's a very necessary training to come up through. You have to understand body mechanics. But at some point, uh, I would say, like my Aikido teacher says, Rick, no more form. He keeps telling me that. Rick, why? You know, whenever he calls me up to attack him, Matsugi Satomi, who's an Ushideshi with the founder, he's like one of the top Aikido guys in the world. I go to attack him, you know, he says, Rick, oh, it took you a step further. He's like, why are you doing that? Just come, come, please attack me. You know, now, say if you Satomi Sensei, just stand there, say you Satomi Sensei, and I get the look, look, look for Rick, Rick attack me, and I just, hey Sensei, and, I just, and he's like, much better. <laughs> That's usually what I get. Um, I mean, we, I see so much about that. So the idea is like, you, you learn a structure to, to liberate yourself from a structure at some point. So, so then you own, what you want to end up gravitating towards is just a principle. Do you follow? Right. So we learn this, but we don't really expect to do this. You know, someone comes and attacks. I'm going to do Kidambarai. I'm going to do Sotoke. I'm going to do I'm going But I'm not going one, two. Right. Do you understand? Okay. So I would say at some point you get to the edge of the cliff, and you just have to have enough confidence to step, and then start gravitating towards, towards the principle.